deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that He should give His only Son and make a wretch His treasure. How great the pain of searing loss, the Father turns His face away, as wounds which mar the Chosen One, bring many sons to glory. sin upon his shoulders ashamed I hear my mocking voice call out among the scoffers it was my sin that held him there until it was accomplished his dying breath has brought me life I know that it is finished I will not boast in anything no gifts no power no wisdom but I will boast in Jesus Christ, His death and resurrection. Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer, but this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom. Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer. But this I know with all my heart. His wounds have paid my ransom Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today Thursday the 11th of March we begin, as always, with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Gracious God, once more we meet together during this season of Lent. We come in the name of Christ, remembering again those lonely and testing days he endured in the wilderness. We come recalling how deliberately he spent time there alone, reflecting on who he was and what you wanted of him. We come reminded of the courage, the faith, and the commitment he showed during that time, qualities that were to characterise the rest of his ministry. Gracious God, help us to use this time given to us. May we draw closer to you through it, understanding more of your nature and of our own. May it deepen our faith, strengthen our commitments and confirm our sense of calling. May we learn what it means to truly follow Christ and what it means to serve you. May we recognise more clearly the true cost of discipleship, but equally the rewards. May we understand more fully why you have put us here, what you would have us do, who you would have us be, how you would have us live, and where you 
would have us go. Gracious God, prepare us through this time of worship, this day and this season, to understand and to celebrate more fully all that you have done for us in Christ. And so may we love you more truly and serve you more faithfully to the glory of your name. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 7 This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the Lord's house and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, who come through these gates to worship the Lord. This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. Reform your ways and your actions, and I will let you live in this place. Do not trust in deceptive words and say, this is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. If you really change your ways and your actions and deal with each other justly, if you do not oppress the foreigner, the fatherless, or the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not follow other gods to your own harm, then I will let you live in this place, in the land I gave to your ancestors for ever and ever. But look, you are trusting in deceptive words that are worthless. Will you steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal and follow other gods you have not known, and then come and stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, We are safe, safe to do all these detestable things? Has this house which bears my name become a den of robbers to you? But I have been watching, declares the Lord. We remind ourselves now not to trust in deceptive words, but to trust in the Lord and in the Lord alone. We sing together, all my hope on God is founded.
Psalm 104 Praise the Lord, my soul. Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty. The Lord wraps himself in light as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent and lays the beams of his upper chambers on their waters. He makes the clouds his chariot and rides on the wings of the wind. He makes winds his messengers, flames of fire his servants. He set the earth on its foundations. It can never be moved. You covered it with the watery depths as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. But at your rebuke the waters fled. At the sound of your thunder they took flight. They flowed over the mountains to the place you assigned for them. You set a boundary they cannot cross. Never again will they cover the earth. He makes springs pour water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. They give water to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the sky nest by the waters. They sing among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers. The land is satisfied by the fruit of his work. He makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for people to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. Wine that gladdens human hearts, oil to make their faces shine, and bread that sustains their hearts. The trees of the Lord are well watered, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted. There the birds make their nests, the stork has its home in the junipers, the high mountains belong to the wild goats. The crags are a refuge for the hyrax. He made the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows when to go down. You bring darkness, it becomes night, and all the beasts of the forest prowl. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises, and they steal away. They return and lie down in their dens. Then people go out to their work, to their labor, until evening. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. God of truth, you know us better than we know ourselves. You search our hearts and our minds, seeing us as we really are, and confronting us with our true selves. Forgive us that all too often we shy away from what is hard to accept, refusing to countenance anything that contradicts our self-image. We find it so difficult sometimes to be honest, closing our ears to truths we would rather not hear. We avoid those who challenge and disturb us, preferring instead those who soothe and flatter our ego. Thank you for those with the right and rare gift of speaking the truth in love, those prepared to risk our resentment, retaliation or rejection, not out of spite or vindictiveness, but because they genuinely care and want to help us to grow as individuals. God of all, give us true humility and meekness of spirit so that we may be ready to listen and examine ourselves, ready to ask searching questions about who we are, ready to face the truth and to change where necessary. For it is in Christ's name we ask it. Amen. I will not boast in anything no gifts, no power, no wisdom But I will boast in Jesus Christ His death and resurrection Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer 
But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom Why should I gain from His reward? I cannot give an answer But this I know with all my heart His wounds have paid my ransom